Hello, I'm Karen Parry. I'm Manager of Information Services at the Library. And welcome to this presentation on a wonderful, exciting program that we have scheduled at the Library on Wednesday, October 18th, called Advances in Breast Cancer and New Developments in 2017. This program is being brought to you by the Libraries Just for the Health of It initiative, the Regional Cancer Care Associates, Central Jersey Division, and Cancer Support Community of Central New Jersey. I'm so honored today to be joined by medical oncologist, Dr. Ellen Ronan of the Regional Cancer Care Associates right here in East Brunswick. Welcome, Dr. Ronan, so nice to have you. Thank you, thanks for having me. Dr. Ronan, this program, Advances in Breast Cancer and New Development, touches the heart of so many people. Everybody has either know somebody, has gone through it themselves. In my case, my own sister has had breast cancer. So I think this is a subject so many people are passionate about. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're gonna talk about at this program? I agree with you, breast cancer is very common and it's a lot of what we see in the office every day. So a lot of what I'm gonna talk about is I do believe that knowledge is power and even if someone hasn't personally been touched by breast cancer or doesn't even have a family member, sometimes what they hear by you know hearsay or from other people isn't accurate. So the first thing I typically do is I go over the basics. I go over how common it is, but I also go over staging, what it means to have cancer. Sometimes patients even come into the office and they say to me, I have you know, stage one breast cancer, for, for example, and they actually don't. And so people, there's a lot of misinformation. So the first thing I wanna do is try to give people accurate information and, about the basics of the disease. And then once I've done that, uh, the second question people have if I see them with breast cancer is they often wonder, why did I get this? But the answer to that question is of interest to people who don't have breast cancer. They wanna know if anything in their in their life, in their habits, is going to increase their risk, and their family history is going to increase their risk. So I am going to talk about risk factors for breast cancer, things that you you know might be able to do to decrease your risk, or things that you can't do but have been again erroneously stated to help you. And then I actually I think one of the more exciting things is also to talk about where how things have changed even in the time I've been onco in oncology, in terms of. Uh, new treatments both for symptom relief and also for treatment. Wonderful. Would this program be for people that just have breast cancer or who would be very interested in attending this program? I think that this program would be of interest to most people because if you, if you have breast cancer it might be of interest to you. Sometimes you learn something hearing it many times from different people. So hearing the basics, hearing about treatment options, I think it would be of interest to people who have family or friends. And I think it would be of interest to someone, I mean, I, I can't think of someone it wouldn't be of interest to, but you know, just someone who, as they get older, wonders about what their risk is and if they need to do anything differently than they're currently doing. That sounds wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Ronan. I really appreciate your time. And I hope our residents will come out on Wednesday, October 18th from 7 to 8.30 to hear Dr. Ronan, to speak to her personally. And we encourage everyone to register um, at the library website, www.ebpl.org. And we hope to see you on Wednesday, October 18th.